We do have an incredible remodeled space mm -hmm. that is in the heart of Carpinteria on Linden Avenue. And we have a gallery in the front. It's a community art gallery. Mm -hmm. So anyone can submit art. We have juried shows where we pay different jurors to come and select the art. But we're so much more than a gallery. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to 805 Focus, where you get the latest updates on our wonderful nonprofits. My name is Greg Gorga, Executive Director of the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum, and I'm uh, filling in for Cinder Sinclair, your normal host here at 805 Focus. And with me today is Christina Calkins. She is the Executive Director of the wonderful Carpinteria Art Center. Welcome. Thank you. So nice to have you here today. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the history of the Carpinteria Arts Center. Certainly. So it is the Carpinteria Arts Center with an S on arts because we do more than one arts in our community. We offer visual arts and performing arts, even culinary arts. And our name is officially the Linda Fairley Carpinteria Arts Center. Wonderful, because Linda Fairley is very involved there. I'm mm -hmm. sure she's a wonderful person, good supporter of the Maritime Museum too. Yes, yeah, she is on our board, and she also sits on our Fund Development Committee. Oh, wonderful. She is a, a wonderful person in our community, absolutely. Mm. So great to have her name involved with your the, the center there. That's yeah. amazing. Yes. So, and then when did you start? When did the, the uh, center open? That is such a neat story. Everything to do with the art center is the Carpinteria community coming together. Mm -hmm. Some artists originally saw a need uh, for a gallery in Carpinteria, and so they formed what's called was called Step One Gallery because they had a vision of our future. And about 2001, we became a nonprofit. So we're nearing 25 years as a nonprofit. That's wonderful. And now we do so much more than have a gallery, but we do have an incredible remodeled space mm -hmm. that is in the heart of Carpinteria on Linden Avenue. And we have a gallery in the front. It's a community art gallery. Mm -hmm. So anyone can submit art. We have juried shows where we pay different jurors to come and select the art. But we're so much more than a gallery. Mm -hmm. We have a really large courtyard space where we offer free community concerts and we have programs, different semesters of art classes that have a wide variety of offerings from jewelry wearing, art you can wear, mm -hmm. to uh, oil painting and watercolor, from beginner to uh, adult advanced classes. Wow. How often do you have classes there? It depends on the time of year. In the summertime, we're bustling for eight weeks with a summer camp for children. Mm -hmm. It's called Arts by the Sea. And so we have a few less adult classes during mm -hmm. the summer. But a normal semester is uh, more than 40 classes we offer. Per semester? Per semester, yes. Uh, and evenings and daytime mm -hmm. classes? Yes. Wonderful. And all different types of art? Uh, for all ages. And we have a financial aid available, mm -hmm. uh, even for adults. So anyone um, is welcome at the art center. And the summer time is my personal favorite, mm -hmm. because with all the children there, the mornings are filled with painting and 3D clay and paper mache. And then the afternoons vary depending on the week with performing arts. We have music or theater or new this year. We have two weeks of STEM, STEAM mm -hmm. with an A in it. Mm -hmm camp bringing the science in around the art so the kids will be doing experiments with bubbling volcanoes and like chemistry lab mm -hmm. only around art uh, interacting with how salt interacts with watercolors 
and it's an especially magical time to see the children grow up at the Arts Center. Just this past week, I've had three different teenagers, now 18, reach out to me to write letters of recommendation. Hmm. And they grew up at the Arts Center, basically, uh, started out as campers, and then went on to be volunteer uh, program aides, which are like camp counselors. Okay. And now they're taking the next step. And what I find so amazing is, um, even though the youth might not be going on to be professional artists, we have like a young man that uh, wants to be a doctor mm -hmm. and work with children. And can you imagine what a skill to have a doctor that can creatively think outside of the box, impromptu speaking skills with families, and even to sit and draw, do artwork on a kid's cast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the arts are really going to enrich his career path and the families he serves. Absolutely. I think a lot of people don't realize how important the arts are to our, our development mm -hmm. intellectually uh, and, and spiritually and emotionally. Uh, it's a it's very cool, uh, important part of our brain development, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And and unfortunately, too, a lot of the schools have cut back on their arts programs, right? That is actually how I originally became involved in the Arts Center. As a volunteer, I have two daughters, mm -hmm. and when uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter entered our middle school, we didn't have any arts programming in Carpinteria. Um, the arts space there was being used for a different reason. Evidently a teacher retired and she was never replaced. And so my daughter had had an incredible experience at the Arts Center with our Teen Mural Project, uh, which is this magical day of painting a huge long mural uh, where you get to work with different adult artists. And so I reached out to one of those artists and said, will you help me get some arts programming in the middle school? And then when they were looking to hire someone, it was something I was already passionate about. So I mm -hmm. stepped into a role there. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. But our mural is something that had to pivot due to the pandemic because we couldn't have 40, 50 kids painting together mm -hmm. on top of each other. So we started doing panels that the teens could take home uh, and then bring back and then we assembled them together and that was actually our very first theme during the pandemic was together apart. Oh interesting. interesting. And then when they could return to kind of being together it was together again mm -hmm. and this year we did a hybrid approach. The community liked the individual panels so much um, but we also really valued the chance for the children to work with the professional artists. So it was a day restoring a mural together. And then the teens took home the panel mm -hmm. and they're going to bring it back with the theme of all, th all good things big and small. And they also write an artist statement. Mm -hmm. So it's so fascinating to read the view of the world from a teenager. <laughs> oh, I bet. And where are these murals? Was it, uh, are they located in the same place each year? Or are they uh, in different places? They're displayed in our courtyard. In your courtyard. And then uh, when it's time to do a new mural, we find a home for it. Oh, nice. There is one mural outside of our uh, history museum in Carpinteria. Mm -hmm. And another mural went to Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. So, we are on the lookout for the next murals home, if you know of anyone. All right, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Our current, the mural they restored actually is an underwater sea mural. Oh, really? I know that's oh, your nice. department. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, wonderful. Yeah. Well, you are a beach town. It's, yeah, a, it's very appropriate there. Yeah. And you do another program with people's self-help housing? Can you yes, tell us about that? Yes, certainly. It is our Bayes Artes program. Um, there are three people's self-help housing complexes in Carpinteria. And we take uh, programs to them, uh, art lessons and 
uh, performing like music lessons, and we partner with UCSB's Viva uh, Performing Arts and have them bring in performers for the whole community. It's not just for children. Mm -hmm. And then we bring in a traditional um, meal such as pozole or a taco bar and invite all the families to come enjoy the performances. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so, so it sounds like food is important because you have some culinary uh, instructions too, you, you said? Yes, food brings people together. Mm -hmm. And our mission is connecting the community through the arts with that big capital S. And so we've also, uh, we opened up our venue to the three Rotary Clubs in town. And they recently hosted an international food fair and our big uh, fundraiser of the year is called Palette to Palette, the art palette to the food palette. And we just held that at the end of spring. And that's also a celebration of food and the arts and all of our local restaurants that support the arts come. And it's, uh, oh, it is just a little piece of euphoria <laughs> walking around our courtyard enjoying fine wine fine food and fine art that sounds wonderful yeah. really a great combination <laughs> so you really are like a community center definitely absolutely. and you have a little triad of uh different cultural organizations with you you mentioned the historical museum mm. there's also the the crispin california island center i think just is reopened now nearby you it is we're now a cultural triangle mm -hmm. that is just 12 short miles south of santa barbara so i pe hope people come and visit us our galleries open Thursday through Sunday um, from 12 to 4 in the afternoon. And we are fully uh, run the gallery by volunteers. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to volunteer if anyone is interested in giving back to the community. And we service all ages. This summer we have um, a program going for senior citizens we're partnering with the city of Carpinteria to help bring senior programs to Carpinteria. And Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, we have a senior socials. And it varies. We offer a craft activity or bingo, trivia, book club. Mm -hmm. You just never know what will be going on at the Arts Center. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. So uh, you could volunteer in, uh, at, at the gallery uh, like when you're open for hours, but are there other volunteer opportunities? Definitely. During our concert time, um, we always need bartenders mm -hmm. and help setting up. And then we also offer arts and crafts fair uh, where we allow uh, local artisans uh, to come sell their goods. And we have a free community art table in the middle um, to come and create. And then um, we have various committees that help run the Arts Center. And it really is the heart of Carpinteria. We have so many volunteers. And we're always looking for more volunteers. Mm -hmm. And so many people in Carpinteria volunteer at more than one nonprofit. So my role, I've really been working to connect the different nonprofits and see how we can help each other. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That is great. And um, so how often do you exchange, uh, change out your exhibits? Every six to eight weeks. Wow. So that takes a lot of volunteers. Also, mm -hmm. we have a paint and patch crew, a hanging crew, a crew that comes in that curates, and then the big day of accepting the artwork, which we call the in-gathering, mm -hmm. and it's all volunteer run. Wow, and so anybody can uh, submit their artwork for a show, and are there different themes mm -hmm. uh, each, every six to eight weeks? And there are. Wonderful. We, and they, they vary. Usually our shows tend to be all sorts of artwork. We have had a textile show or a photography show, but our exhibition committee members like to choose themes that have very broad interpretations mm -hmm. like uh, one is the illusion of light and shadow so that can have a lot of uh, 
creative inspiration around mm -hmm. that theme. Oh, wonderful. And you said they're jury? Mm -hmm. We have curated shows. Mm -hmm. We have a show for our auction where our artists donate artwork to help raise funds. Because we are a nonprofit, we're always looking for ways on how we can fund the incredible things we want to do for the sure. community. Um, but the, uh, we for sure have at least five a juried shows per year mm -hmm. that anyone can submit artwork. And we've had as young as eight years old wow. submit artwork and get in the show. And it's such an incredible experience to see the excitement. And this particular eight-year-old, I was thinking of sold her artwork. Oh, wow. So, so she's a professional. Over the moon excited. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is wonderful. And who teaches your art classes and your different uh, classes? We have quite a few teachers. Um, it depends on the semester. We do an open call for instructors, mm -hmm. so anyone can submit program proposals. Wow, well, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, so you talked about the funding, so you are a nonprofit. How can people support you? Yes, so donations are always welcome. And we also have a venue that is gorgeous in Carpentria, and it's available for rent. And so we have the courtyard, you can just rent the courtyard, or you can have your next birthday party in the art gallery. Uh -huh. um, and we have two studio spaces. So if you want a children's birthday party where they get messy, we're the place. <laughs> oh, wow. And how many people can uh, you handle for an event like that, for a rental event? Our maximum is 250. Wow. So if you want to have a children's birthday party for that many, I might check your sanity. No. <laughs> <laughs> or yours for taking Maybe. that. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, our studios can comfortably fit uh, 20 people oh, uh, seated okay. yeah. uh, for art instruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so if they wanted to donate, uh, would they go to your website and, and there's a, a tab there for donations? Yes, carpentriaartscenter.org. And also I invite everyone to come take a tour. I'd be happy to uh, give you a behind the scenes look at how the creativity happens in Carpentria and beyond. We have artists submitting artwork from down in LA mm -hmm. or all the way up uh, Ojai or Lompoc, Buellton. Oh, that's so. wonderful, wonderful. And so if they wanted to volunteer for you too, also go to the website. Yes, yeah. or come to one of our events. Mm -hmm. um, if you step on our location, I'll, I'll probably invite you one way or another <laughs> to become involved. Uh -huh. Oh, wonderful. And your calendar of events is listed on your website as it well? It is, and we're yeah. bustling. And we, we also have cultural events. Uh, we partner with different organizations. Um, with Carpentria Children's Project, mm -hmm. we brought in a Dia de los Muertos and a Posada around December. And we also partnered with Artesania para la Familia, which works with our library, our friends of the library, and brought in a Lunar New Year's celebration with taiko drummers and a taekwondo demonstration. It it's, was fabulous. It sounds fabulous, and it sounds like such a fun uh, center to, to be a part of. Because to, it sounds like you, so you're open Thursday through Sunday mm -hmm. gallery, but it, but you're doing classes every, all all week long. Yes, our office is Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. so we have someone there seven days a week. Yeah, so you can do tours, and, and somebody knocks on your door, you can show them in. Right, exactly. Uh -huh. Oh. Wonderful, and, and it sounds like, well, it's such a great community anyway, but it mm. sounds like you are an integral part of that. So thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, Christina, for joining us today. Mm. And thank you for listening to 805 Focus. We'll see you next time. <laughs>